Hey Virgo, welcome back to my channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, welcome. <clears throat> Please smash the like button and subscribe if you enjoy the readings. Um, keep in mind this is a general love reading, so some messages may or may not be for you. This is a channel for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, but all of you are welcome. All signs are welcome. All right, Virgo, so let's get started with your reading. Personal links are in the description box below. And also you can join my channel to get free readings with me on Sundays. Wow, I can't believe it. Um, camera, okay. So reminiscing, keepsake, perception, learning from the past, making memories. Um, this is going to be a love reading for April, by the way, in case you didn't know. Um, somebody's really into photography and tarot. <laughs> um, uh, somebody's taking pictures at this time. I don't feel like looking at pictures, but there's a keepsake perhaps of some photos or photographs. Somebody might be learning to use a camera behind the camera, in front of the camera as well. And hand of cards, there's taking a chance, a risk, being strategic, having options, um, not showing hand and possibly gambling. Okay, these are two very different messages. And also engagement ring. Ooh, <laughs> somebody's looking at photos of rings and secretly not telling another person. Okay, Virgo, are you getting an engagement ring or an offer or someone you're connected with secretly looking at that? Healthy choices, making healthy choices in love and life, self-love, self-care, being happier. All right, Virgo. Um, that's the message. See ya. <laughs> I feel like somebody here is, um, gosh, Virgo, I mean, it's a great message. <laughs> Somebody's secretly looking at engagement rings. That's all I can say. And I just feel like they're not, like somebody wants to take a chance or a risk on this, being very strategic, um, looking at all the different options, okay, um, different types of rings. And I know this isn't going to resonate for everyone, but if, it, if, if it's not your reading today, then it's not your reading today. Come back tomorrow. But I feel like um, with healthy choices here, I feel like somebody um, wow, uh, they just told me someone didn't love themselves. I think they were worthy enough for a long term commitment, but it looks like yes, they are. Now, I just heard pull another card and then I immediately heard no, don't do it. Okay, so I'm not sure who's saying what, but okay. All right, date, meeting somebody new, dating, getting back out there, planning, setting a date. Okay, I don't know why I heard no, but it looks like um, you could be meeting somebody new and like this person, and we'll find out who it is, this person, um, Or you could, or so there could be somebody new coming in, or someone is planning and setting a date um, for to propose. That's that's probably the biggest message. But you could be meeting somebody new who is in alignment with um, if that's something you're looking for, like a, that type of a commitment. They're coming in the same. Okay. <laughs> Virgo. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. Let me see. Um, I do feel like, though, the overall message is someone is planning a date as far as setting a date. There's engagement, proposal. Okay, let me get some romance angels and see what's going on. I mean, this is a sweet message, okay? It's just, it's just really sweet. Um, okay, flirt. All right, extend your lighthearted energy to others. Healing family issues, okay there's someone here who has was going through a divorce and somebody wants to heal that and reestablish the family structure or whatever issues were in the family to um, repair and there might be a little bit of flirtatiousness starting to happen that you might notice um, somebody renewing vows and then for others of you there's definitely a flirtatious energy I feel like you're going to be picking up coming up this month from a particular person, but I also feel like somebody wants to heal something. 
All right, there. this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. So this person, for the majority of you, um, this is not somebody new. Um, this is someone that you already know who's coming in to, you know, get the ball rolling here with, <laughs> with you, Virgo. Okay, um, let me see what other message there is. Okay, and for others, so it's a double message. Okay, it's a double message. For some of you, this is a new love. Yes, okay. So there's a there's a small percentage of, of you who are going, you'll be meeting someone new in April. And if you go back into my readings, we did see that happening quite a bit, okay? Who is like, it, it turns into this proposal, engagement, and moving forward. A new person stirs romantic feelings, okay? And for others, there is someone that you've already known and it could also be, and I just want to say that you meet somebody new and you feel like you've met them before. Okay, but I feel like the overall message here is that expect a proposal of some sort. Um, there's flirtation um, and setting a date. Um, I do feel like there could be someone also secretly setting or creating plans to um, get together with you and they're going to surprise you with like a proposal. Okay, and so romantic and it's so sweet and I love it. And if you don't love it, too bad. Um, all right, let's get into the tarot and see what's going on here. I just feel like a profession of love. Someone professes their love to you. Okay, so we do have a queen of swords. So we do see an air sign showing up here. Definitely who's interested in you, Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra, okay? And uh, again, male or female energy, but yeah, giving out some truth here, being completely honest and giving clarity. Oh, also have a King of Cups, okay. Dun, dun, dun. Damn, that was here yesterday, wasn't it? Okay, so, all right, Virgo, what is going on? All these cards are flying. Yeah, making plans. Um, you know, it's interesting. If you go back to yesterday, this Queen of Queen of Swords flipped out and then it flipped back in. It was very quick and I did acknowledge it, but it was a card that was fleeting and I felt like there was a King of Cups who um, might have had like a fleeting something with a very cold type of a person, someone very harsh energy, non-romantic. These two do not go together. <laughs> Queen of Swords and the King of Cups. The Queen of Swords will cut the king of cups head off and the king of cups will just keep their distance and i felt like that was what the energy was yesterday and i don't know if that resonated for any of you because my comments are shut off so i don't know but i do feel like you can see the king of cups has their back to the queen of swords um whatever sign they are okay king of cups generally shows up a pisces it could be other water sign but the king of cups has their back to the queen of swords and the queen of swords is facing the king of cups and giving them hell <laughs> trying to start a fight trying to um give some shit and i and excuse my french but i can't put a asterisk in there anyway i just feel like and why is shit french like is that even a french word <laughs> i don't know why i say that but anyway back on track this queen of swords is trying to pull this king of cups into some type of you know um get some truth and the king of cups is like looking at the three the three of wands and is kind of like trying uh i feel like waiting is waiting for you um in some way not even paying attention to this queen of swords okay um now does that mean that this person okay whether they're new or someone you already know um i feel like they've got someone like a monkey on their back that they're trying to get rid of or uh just I don't know the the whole backstory, but I feel like they're trying to get rid of this person who is trying to argue or fight with them. So it could be a lover, it could be an ex, it could be um, a friend or a family member, okay? Uh, male or female energy. The King of Cups, you know, if you just look at this, it's the Queen of Swords is looking at the King of Cups and it's like she loves him, but he loves her. He loves her, but she loves him. That's kind of that energy. And you being the her, the him at the end. So let me see what's going on here. What is this drama? <laughs> there is so much drama. Okay. 
King of Cups is looking at you, right? Male or female. Um, and does see that you are... Or is... Somehow intuits that you have put up some really strong boundaries because of like this is the wounded warrior card here been in battle not quite giving up but very hesitant to get back involved again and um i feel like this person this king of cups the way i'm looking at this story here is waiting for you to heal it, or and or will be waiting for you to heal from whatever is going on up here mostly in your head or in your arm or anywhere in your body right this this nine of wands is it, it just gives me a really strong sense of like you're you know they're looking at you like you're keeping your boundaries and you're being very persistent about this and maybe even uh, you're not really even doing anything there's no movement here and i feel like either the king of cups knows this now or will know this going forward um, they definitely have an interest in you, um, but they see that your pain or they see your hurt and they're waiting for you to heal and for there to be peace for you to recover. Okay, that four of swords, that's our recovery card and it falls right after the three of swords. So if there was an argument or if if you have had some type of an argument or a breakup or separation or divorce or um even some heart surgery or something along those lines or any kind of surgery generally um, or some type of loss or going through some kind of depression i feel that from the king of cups there's this extreme amount of tolerance and empathy and compassion um, and someone who is very healing and supportive this could be somebody new like i said you have to take it as it resonates because we have a couple of messages here right you'll know if this is your story because as i'm telling it you'll feel the energy um so i do kind of feel like this king of cups just is such a beautiful soul such a very supportive tolerant empathetic person and uh very kind and gentle um as far i mean like you know, the King of Cups sits on that very stable, rock-solid throne there when all, all the water and the emotions are burbling all, of around, all around them, um, but they don't really show it. The King of Cups tends to have a very good poker face. They're very good at um, controlling their body language, although maybe their facial expressions, but body language, you can't hide that. <laughs> body, you know, the, the body movements, that, that's always going to be seen. Um, and you can always tell, like, you can be deceived by the way somebody's facial expressions are, but their body, you can't be deceived by that. that t that'll tell you everything you need to know. But um, as you can see here, this King of Cups is very stoic in his face, his or her face. But the, their feet, ha the feet do, does have, a, the foot has a little bit of movement, dipping its toes into the water. King of Cups doesn't like to portray themselves as being out of emotional control. Um, so they have very good self-control and discipline. But apart from all that, yes, this person, I feel like, um, does want to come in and either have a new love start with you or try to, um, they know that you're the one, okay? And I feel like they just have this monkey on their back here, this queen of swords, okay? Or king of swords, whichever it is. They have someone on their back that, I, I actually, I'm gonna look a little bit into, see what's going on with this queen of swords and like, what is that deal? Or this other person that is behind them. What is that deal with this other person? Okay, hmm, um, I feel like they might be at a distance to the King of Cups, and, um, hmm, give me a second here. Oh, um, so the Queen of Swords seems to be patiently waiting uh, for the King of Cups to transition towards her. Okay, um, she's trying to make the best of a situation and trying to communicate and give some truth about that. Uh, might even be saying, I've been waiting, I've been waiting, I've been waiting. King of Cups is not even paying attention to her at all. Like, is not even interested. Okay, um, let me see. Um, 
Then there's this also like, because she's holding that sword, I feel like the, the Queen of Swords is basically like, you know, I've been waiting and I'm coming after you. I'm coming to get you. I'm coming towards you. And the King of Cups is basically like, well, you know, I won't be there. <laughs> I'm not interested. I'm interested in Virgo. Okay. Yeah. So Queen of Swords definitely feels like she has been carrying this burden. She's exhausted and she's given him hell. And he doesn't care. He does not care because you're the love of his life. Okay. And of course, I'm not going to keep changing the sexes. You change it. Um, you're the love of the King of Cups life. Okay. And that's all that matters. And he's just tremendously focused on you. Whoop. Oh, hide the boobies. <laughs> tremendously focused on you. You're the love. You're the one. You are the... Uh, you're the it you're the it for this person did my mic oh my microphone's falling you guys i hope that you're able to hear me it's like basically not in a good place okay so with the lovers they've already made this decision that you are the person for them okay and i feel like you should know that this queen of swords is not the person for them okay yep see one two three four clarity of healing um i feel like this king of cups if you were um if you had a relationship with them before um the king of cups distances themselves if you were involved with them before uh this this person they have this habit of distancing themselves by saying they're busy working okay or they're busy if it's not work whatever they're doing something um and I do feel like the King of Cups is doing that with the Queen of Swords, right? Because the King of Cups is basically like handed the Queen of Swords the Truth Sword um, and has been busy. Actually, I feel like King of Cups has been working and has been busy. Handed the, 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 that Sword of Truth to the Queen of Swords. And the Queen of Swords is like, okay, tell me more. What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? The thing is, even though they are busy with work or doing whatever it is they're doing it's really because they're not interested in that person um i feel like the king of cups is having somewhat of a wake-up call and is getting clarity and there is going to be initiation of communication with you um in regards to them doing that to you in the past hold on you guys i gotta fix my i gotta fix my um microphone is like just about to crash and burn Okay, all fixed. So I definitely feel like um, they also have clarity of truth that um, they were doing that to you. They were um, maybe either it was an excuse or the truth of the matter is that they um, really just put their work and their career and their money and their projects and the craft and all that before the relationship. Okay. So there's a lot of, I feel like, clarity, and I feel like this King of Cups is aware that they've hurt you. They don't really care too much that they've hurt this Queen of Swords because they don't want them. So they don't really feel like they're hurting the Queen of Swords, but they have a, a, a sense of compassion and understanding about the way that they've hurt you. And um, yeah, that's what's going on with the king of cups and i feel like this queen of swords is just irrelevant to the fact to the point of like there's nothing as you can see there's nothing romantic over here with this queen of swords okay um as far as the king of cups is concerned but the queen of swords might have some i, I don't really feel like there's romantic feelings from the queen of swords either i feel it's more like a need um because the queen of swords can sometimes whether it's a male or female represent someone who's very cold um they, they can be very corrupt, abusive, con artistry like. Um, they can bribe. And there's just dishonesty and um, unkindness. They, it could be someone who's divorced and very bitter about, um, you know, a relationship that they were in in the past and just carrying it over. Okay. Wow. This is quite a story, Virgo. Uh, quite a story. And it's detailed. All right. So knight of swords is here let's see what else okay ah okay so the king of cups is sitting here is definitely uh running back to the queen of swords 
to to tell the Queen of Swords, um, you know, I'm 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 with my person. This is uh, the, Virgo is my person. There's the Two of Cups, and I'm reuniting with them, and we're getting back together. Or um, I, I want to be with Virgo. And that's just that, right? And that King of Cups is telling that Queen of Swords here, um, I'm making a change in my life, and I'm sorry, but you're not in alignment with that. I don't see a future with you, right? And um, and that feels to me like the other person. I don't. That I feel like the King of Cups is just all facing you, honestly. <sighs> okay. I mean, this is a story that you're going to see uh, tomorrow night on the Hallmark Channel, I'm telling you. <laughs> this is kind of like, it, it's a very beautiful story, right? Look, why? Because there's growth. There's a new beginning here, and there's growth and happiness and joy. Virgo, let's take a look at you. What's your energy, Virgo? Do you even want this person? Is this, oh, there you are again, Virgo. Look at you. Oh, my gosh. Queen of Pentacles and the Empress. <laughs> Virgo, I mean, Virgo right now is like, let me see how I can get my makeup better. Let me see if I can get my hair done. Let me see if I can get to that gym and like see if I can lift like 300 pounds on the weight rack. Let me see if I can just increase my income. Virgo, you are, that's what's making you very attractive, I feel, because you're just so focused on yourself and you're not giving anybody a hard time. You don't give a shit. There I go with that word. You don't give a damn. Virgo's like keeping it moving for self, doing what Virgo needs to do for self. Um, whether you're male or female, whatever it is, you're coming into your own, you're, you're, it feels like you're raising your vibrations, you're leveling up in so many ways, and that's attractive. Um, because you're not poking and prodding anybody. You're you're kind of like whatever you've gone through, you're healing. Whatever you're doing, this is part of your healing and your self-care. And that's why you do have healthy choices here. This card as well. It's not just the King of Cups that has it. It's basically like you are making healthier choices in April for sure. In love and in your life. Self-love, self-care, and being happier. What if it makes you happy? All right, give me the name. Who sings that song? That's what you're doing for self. And that is very attractive. You are not even focused. Some of you are looking up beauty tips. Some of you are looking, you're doing some research for holistic health. You're looking up herbs, um, trying some new oils. You're, you're, you're just, I, I don't know. I just feel like you're nourishing yourself because that empress is all about nourishment, right? Um yeah, you're you're just like, hmm, what can I do tomorrow? <laughs> what can I do today? Uh, let me look at, let me see if I can clean out this junk drawer. <laughs> or can I add more to it? You just, you're in analytical mode about self and where you want to go and what you're doing. Uh, what should I invest in self? I don't even feel like you know, Virgo, that this is even occurring behind the scenes. You might not even be aware you have no signs. Some of you might have a sign or two, but nothing is showing up here. Really, like you're, you're so distracted with your own life and what you're doing in April that you, you don't even see. Someone wants to put an egg in your Easter basket, Virgo, and you, you don't even know. <laughs> you have no idea. Some of you are going to spend a little time with your mom. Maybe you'll have Easter dinner with your mom. Um or just spend time with an older friend. Virgo, you have no idea. This is what's coming. This is what, well, this is definitely what's going on here. Okay. The, the change. Yeah. See, you're stressing to some point at night, maybe. I feel like this card keeps coming out. Like, oh, I'm never going to find love. It's never going to happen. You know, I'm doing all this self-care and I'm doing all this great stuff for myself, but I have no one to share it with and no one to enjoy it with. Um, or maybe there are some people, but no one really special you might feel. Um, and you and this person want the same thing. This King of Cups and you want the same thing. And King of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles go beautifully together. Also, of course, get to look a little bit Depth, in more in depth in a natal chart and also Chinese signs, but in general, they go beautifully together. It's water and earth, you know, um, earth supports water and water softens earth. So it, it's a, it's a nice mix. Okay. Um, but I, I, you're in your 
particular anxious state, of course, you, you're overthinking, you're thinking too much, you're worrying too much. That's what the Nine of Swords always is. It's it's like anxiety. Some of you have depression or some grief that you're healing and doing a lot better. Um, is your grief and depression from someone from the past? It could be. Or is it just your natural um, disposition? If it is your natural disposition, you're learning how to um, think positively. So in other words, you know, I don't believe, and, and I've, I've had this confirmed as well, overthinking is not a bad thing <laughs> at all. And if you're someone who's an overthinker, you can't stop yourself from that. It's just... It's a matter of what your thoughts are, what you're overthinking. If you're overthinking negative thoughts, that's going to have a profound effect on you, on you and can cause depression and fear and worry. But if you're overthinking positive thoughts, that's going to like refresh you and lift you. So don't beat yourself up for being an overthinker. Some of the like Einstein was an overthinker. I mean, you can't you can't solve world problems unless you're overthinking things and thinking every aspect and every um, possible lead and on all the it's like playing chess you know do you ever see somebody sitting playing chess I mean they're very focused on what they're doing some people it's just natural for them but others it's you're strategizing so strategize positive thoughts right don't let this get you at night okay um, you just have to do some thought replacement that's all um, and in other words, when you start feeling a negative thought coming, don't snowball it. Just recognize it, label it, and say, I'm not thinking like this. I'm going to think like that and turn it around. So, yeah, you, you're definitely, I feel like this person, too, knows this about you. And I do feel like they. it doesn't stop them from loving you, and it won't. I just feel like this person um, wants you to heal and be in a happier place with self and to be happy with them as well um okay um let's see what else is going on here okay so I have the three of pentacles yeah you're definitely like this is all about learning how to not defeat yourself <laughs> how to not be defeated virgo i don't see anything hear about you wanting or not wanting somebody back or wanting or not wanting somebody new i just feel like you're you are really trying to heal um at this time and that's where your focus is you don't even know the magic that's coming towards you you don't even know um what's going on behind the scenes you know i always say when when things are not stormy and there's no drama and things are calm in your life that's because God is working behind the scenes to um, bring bring something to you, right? It, they call it like the calm before the storm. Whenever it's calm, that's your cue that, okay, something's brewing, right? That's, that's when you should know. Or if you feel like, well, nothing's happening, uh, you're not talking to anybody, you haven't heard anything, everything's at the calm before the storm. And the storm's not always a bad thing. It can be an upheaval, but it does refresh and cleanse, okay? So... There you go. Yeah, this, okay. So there's a cutoff. There's a cutoff. Somebody's cutting another person or other people out of their life to bring um, the love proposal to you. Um, I don't feel like somebody is trying to have their cake and eat it too at all here. Okay. Um, okay. Yep. And it's weird. I just found these two cards sitting here. Freeing, free yourself in separation. So yeah, that's what's going on. And that's exactly what I was saying. This person, this King of Cups, and again, you can make it whatever sign it is. You, this is who's showing up here for you. Um, you know, if you tell, if you say, well, you know, my person's a Taurus. Okay, well, they might have water in their chart somewhere. So go by the identification. Um, but what I feel like is happening here is they are freeing themselves. They're separating from someone and freeing themselves and taking control back of their life and going after what they want. And that is you. That is you. The, if the decision's already been made. As a matter of fact, I don't even feel like the decision has been made by them so much as it is written <laughs> that you two are meant to be together. That, that this is a love of a lifetime. This is true love. This is the one. Okay? Um, and the, the love is being blown back into a relationship for those of you who had a past kind of thing. Um, it's like a bonfire, do you know, that this starts with the, like there's a spark with this flirtation that comes and then it blows back up into this beautiful, warm, glowing entity. 
of love in between two people. And I just love the story. I really do. And, you know, of course, just keep in mind that some of the messages may or may not resonate. Just take what fits Virgo. If not, be happy for someone else. If you can't do that, just enjoy it. Click off and go about your business. <laughs> okay. So let's get into the messages of love and see what else is going on here. What else does Virgo need to know? going on with this love you know it's crazy it just feels like lately all of the messages have been about hope and promise and positivity and joy and um yeah, you gotta take it sometimes we have streaks of some of y'all are dealing with like the devil and you've got this narc shit going on some of you we've had streaks like that but it feels like that's not that's not is what is happening okay play hard find time to laugh goof off and enjoy each other now that's either play hard or play hard to get <laughs> I don't think you should play games, but maybe a little. Okay, there's forgiveness. Forgiving yourself or another will help you move forward. All right, Virgo, that's, and I always say that, that is the core foundation to healing a relationship. There has to be forgiveness. Not forgetfulness, but forgiveness. Um, you can't move forward if you still hold a grudge. Two people cannot go forward and heal and make room for the new if they're still holding on to past grudges or um, not willing to let something go okay so that's just advice you do what you need to do and you have new love again this is twice so new love or a recommitment to love is developing now you take that however it resonates like i said you do have um for some it's a small percentage of you meeting somebody new okay who knows that or if they they meet you they'll find out that you're still kind of healing from a past thing and um as time goes by and the love grows i feel like this person is willing to wait and and stay feel it's kind of i don't know if they're they're dating other people and then they just happen to fall into your life and or you fall into their life and they either break up with another person or tell another person they're not interested they've met somebody new and it's you and they're waiting and they're going to patiently wait for you to heal to be the best version of yourself okay and and that's a beautiful thing i love that message okay and it goes both ways whether it's you meeting somebody new or this person that you already know so no rush virgo you don't need to rush you don't need to do anything just nourish self um i feel like you've got love is waiting here for you it's coming it, it, it's in the cards so you know don't fret there you go self-care clear your energy field and focus on yourself before doing anything that's all you have to do virgo self-care the more you're focused on loving the self loving the spirit and the glow within you the more attractive you become to others because you're enlightened and you're happy and you're positive and you're joyful and you're enjoying your life even if you have your down days which every every virgo does every person does but still finding a way to be triumphant in your every day, that's attractive because that gives off the energy of no matter what, I feel safe with Virgo because Virgo makes herself or himself a person they can rely on but still has room for me. That's very attractive, right? Great, great lessons being learned here for you, Virgo. <laughs> huge, huge lessons. Um, that you've been learning in your life. Let me see what the hidden truth message is. Um, if this was someone that you knew from before. Okay. Sometimes they stay awake thinking about you. Okay. They might have a little nine of swords energy going on as well. Um, oh, I love you. Yeah, they do. It's absolutely true. This person loves you. Loves you. Um, they regret lying to you. Okay, so that refers back to perhaps the time that, you know, this person was kind of just not making you a priority for whatever reason, whether they were lying about that or they were just given an excuse because for whatever reason. Like, the most important thing I think in a relationship is, you know, especially with Virgos, Virgos can handle the truth, you know? Uh, this isn't some Jack Nicholson, uh, Tom Cruise lawyer, uh, Air Force movie. You know, Virgos can, I forget the name of the movie, so I had to describe it. <laughs> what the hell? What's the name of it? You can't handle the truth. Oh, Virgo can handle the truth. Virgo would rather be told the truth than be lied to. Okay. And because Virgo respects people that respect themselves, Virgo will respect 
Virgo respects people that has their own boundaries that can say, you know what, I do, I do miss you, I do want to see you, but I need just a couple hours to myself right now, or I just need like a day or two. And Virgo's like, that's totally fine. I need that myself. Yeah, no, I totally respect that. Go into your girl cave, your man cave, do what you got to do. Virgo's okay with that. Like most Virgos are not needy. Most of them are just very self-sufficient. That's why the, the Nine of Pentacles is the Virgo card, because that's a card of, of self-sufficiency and solo pleasures, right? So I feel like if this person just wasn't, uh, maybe they didn't want to feel like the bad guy for hurting you. They might have some issues going on with that, you know. That's a cause for Virgo to have to read between the lines and be like, okay, this person has a hard time telling me the truth. So they kind of segue into a half truth. And so Virgo has to kind of like intuit what the message is and then say, hey, I'm really good at figuring things out, but I'm not a damn mind reader. And you're going to have to be upfront and honest with me and tell me. You just want to sit in the bathroom for three hours and look at the sports stats and you don't want to talk to me. That's fine. You just want to keep that toilet seat warm and you're going to text me back. You don't even have to tell me that's exactly what you're doing. Maybe you just want to watch the game or maybe you're just going to go get your hair done. It's going to be like a four hour thing. You're going to the spa with your friend and you don't have time for me. That's fine. Take your time. Have fun. Do your thing. I love that, you know, um, but don't lie you know, and, and, and make up some kind of excuse because you're afraid I'm going to be hurt because I'm actually going to be hurt if I find out you were lying to me about it. Am I right? <laughs> All right, a whole bunch of stuff. I hid who I really am free from you. Okay, can't stop thinking about you. I know I messed up everything. I want you and I still look for you everywhere. So Virgo, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's see what other messages we have here for you from the Moon Pie Tarot deck. Now, these could be love. These could be anything. We're going to give it a little bit of break here and see. Oh, all right, so you are going to be getting a sweet, flirty text message from someone. Could even be an apology, but you're definitely going to be receiving uh, a text message of some sort that's very sweet. Um, for some of you, it could be, I miss you, I love you, um, thinking about you, that kind of stuff, okay? Um, or um, just something that just kind of, you know, gives you fizzies or fuzzies in your heart, okay? Now, it doesn't have to be from a love. It could be from a family member or a friend or uh, someone who just cares about you and is just hoping that you're doing well. Okay, for some of you, it's your father. You're going to hear something from a father or an older brother or maybe a boss or someone who's kind of a take charge, a kind of a divine masculine energy, whoever they might be, okay? Um, and this is someone who supports you, an influential person who supports you, okay? And that's what that text message is coming in from someone. I hope you're doing okay. Do you need anything? Um, is there anything I can do? Do you just want to talk? Anything you want. Like very, in, very supportive, okay? And for some of you, that's an Aries, coming from an Aries. All right. You've got a lustful, fiery spirit here in the reverse. Okay. Uh, let's see. So, this feels like someone who um, showing up. Okay. <laughs> Virgo, there is someone showing up here also in April that if you don't stand your ground with them, they are going to be impulsive and grab you by your hair and drag you into the cave. <laughs> and and you might not want to stand your ground with that person and be like, take me, let's do it. Let's do this. Let's go. Um, it doesn't feel negative. At first I was like, huh, wait a minute. But there is, there is an energy showing up here where this is like screaming passion and, um, rough, passionate, crazy SEX. That, I'm feeling that here. Okay, I don't know who that's coming from. Um, hopefully it's my father. Ew! <laughs> but there is definitely, I feel like these are separate, but there is definitely someone here who just 
uh, I don't know, push you up against the wall and just take control. <laughs> uh, that's that's a strong message here. Um, and I don't know if you're going to, there's going to be some fighting back and forth, some power play, but fun, playing hard. You did have that here, playing hard, fun time, find time to laugh, goof off and enjoy each other. Um, some, some hard play. That's what I'm feeling. Okay, I could just, I'm, as I'm recording this right now, I can't, it's not live, so I, I can't imagine what the chat's going to be like while um, you're listening to this, but I think y'all are going to be like, yes! Um, okay, what else do you have? Okay, you have time to go get your GPS set and take off. So if you got a trip planned or you're doing something like that, um, I'm just hearing, you like, do it, Virgo, just, just go, uh, risk impulse or whatever you got going on whatever impulsive thing um i feel like there are some virgos that could stand to have a turquoise popsicle melted over their head because some of you are so rigid and you are not being uh spontaneous and this is a message here like don't hesitate remove those blockages just do it um and whatever area that is in your life like if you need to buy a pair of nike sneakers to remind you to just do stuff just do it do it then right you might be just kind of like you know let me stop thinking so much and just do this thing i'm not going to waste any more time i'm just going to do it because sometimes i overthink myself into such a rabbit hole that i'm stuck and i never get out of it okay um popular social female in the reverse uh, okay some of you have a friend who is a wild child is the word and um uh, they're just giving me the phrase wild child and this this friend um kind of causes you or gets you into trouble because they're very influential um and i feel like some of you may have had to like kind of just put them on red for a little bit because um they're just crazy but i don't know i just get the sense that there's this friend who is you know very popular and social but extremely um kind of just wild and i feel like you're you're gonna talk to them and she or he is going to say to you come on let's go do something crazy and something that you don't want to really do for whatever reason, um, I feel like she's going to be showing up and melting that turquoise popsicle over your head and be like, snap out of it. Let's go. Uh, that's just a very separate message that I'm picking up. And I'm, I'm not really sure what that's about, but you might need it. Um, take a some kind of a trip of some sort or go somewhere that's like out of your comfort zone. She gets you. She does. And she is the ant antithesis. Antithesis. She's the the antagonist to your everyday life, your routine. Um, okay, so, wow, direct, honest, female, struggle, challenge, competition. All right, some of you, I'm just going to give this message. This came out very strongly. This Queen of Swords is going to be reaching out to you or sees that you're their competition if they're not, if they don't reach out to you. Um, oh, oh, it's going to be on. And Virgos don't fight over. Uh, people Virgos are like yeah no um if you have to if you have to fight me for uh, another person then you're obviously losing that battle <laughs> because it's not me the problem is with is your person is the person right so um Virgos like no that just tells me I've already won so I just don't engage but there is going to be some kind of struggle um with that direct honest female is the queen of swords 100 percent and um I don't know how that's going to evolve, but all I can tell you is I see um, it's a conversation of some sort um, or some kind of challenge coming up. Oh, yeah. Um, wanting to know. Oh, there's a third party, uh, three triangle situation going on here. Virgo's like, I am not. Virgo does not engage in that stuff, like as a rule. And if Virgo does, it's only to shut someone down. Like one punch, you're out. That's how Virgo is. Um, because Virgo is earth. Do you understand? Um, Queen of Swords is a bolt of lightning. Ur the, Ur Virgo is like a, a San Andreas fault earthquake. Shake. Virgo doesn't just 
pop. I mean, Virgo will shake up the whole damn town and the whole state and half the country with just their rumbling, you know. Um, and so this this Queen of Swords is going to pop in with this um, bolt of lightning, trying to get some information if someone or whoever they're trying to control or be with, which here looks like your person, trying to find out if there's a love offer, if there's something going on, if there's a proposal. Oh, Virgo, the drama. You don't need Netflix. You have House of Virgo. <laughs> you don't need Netflix. You have House of Virgo. You've got mail. All right, Virgo. There you go. That's crazy. You can do this. You have the courage and strength to withstand the situation, Virgo. Start by soothing the beast. Go with kindness, as Virgo will. Virgo's like, oh, you're so wonderful. I'm sorry he doesn't love you. I'm sorry. Um, it's not vanity. I, I'm just hearing it. Is that, that just, I just feel like it's the strongest attribute you'll ever have fight back by not fighting back and that's what virgo will do pull the courage up from the ground and hold steady your winner so virgo's not going to engage if someone is trying to be petty or jealous or controlling um virgo doesn't generally engage in that kind of stuff even if virgo does get pulled into something um virgo's like looking at their watch and like yeah it's time for me to go because this is just gonna get worse and worse people think virgo is kind of like being um cowardly but that's actually the opposite because it takes a lot of strength to walk away from drama and to walk away from a fight um it's keeping the ego in check it's not about winning or losing it's really about keeping the peace and virgo generally is like a slow moving peacekeeper you know um once in a while they can be nitpicky you guys know that's true virgo can have a tendency to be nitpicky and poke so many holes in something that it eventually breaks down but i feel like a lot of you are trying to understand and have been learning that that um, if you're going to poke holes in something and be nitpicky, be nitpicky about um, that your frames are crooked on the wall. Be nitpicky about um, all the dust on your shelf, okay? Um, but don't be nitpicky with people because the frames and the pictures on your wall and the shelf and the dust don't have feelings, right? So Virgo's kind of like, okay, I'm just going, going to pick at inanimate things, <laughs> Like, uh, there's too many bristles on my toothbrush, and uh, I got to reduce this or cut them off because it's just too many. Um, but when it comes to love, Virgo is like, no, I'm not going to pick nitpick this lover. I'm not going to nitpick people. They're beautiful. Everybody's imperfect. So am I. And so, so is this person. And so it looks to me like you are going to maintain any sense of composure going forward um, in this particular situation. Okay, I'm going to get one more card. And you've got hope. So, um, dreams come true, Virgo. Your hope, faith, and wishes are being restored. Um, and this card is also asking you right now to make a wish. Um, so take a moment, pause the video if you can, or do it afterwards. Make a wish for something that you... Um, blow out your candle Virgo and make a wish. And believe that it's yours when you acknowledge what your desires are. The part of having your wishes come true is believing that they already have. Okay, Virgo. Um, so let's move on to your Chinese signs and names and randoms, dice, and um, some charms. And I just want to tell you that I am going to do a part two tomorrow of this reading. Okay. Um, so this is going to be stay tuned to see what happens um, in regards to this Queen of Swords approaching you because i do feel like that energy um king or queen of swords whoever this person is approaching you with a situation here um this feels like an extended drama kind of situation going on and we're going to take a look at the king of cups as well and see what's going on with you and how things are going to play out um but yeah let's get into the chinese signs so we can finish out this reading and make sure that you uh are here tomorrow for the part two of this <laughs> crazy episode here in your life Virgo okay so you're starting off with the year of the goat okay and just keep in mind that this may be you could be the other person could be both of you and it may not be any of you so take what fits leave the rest doesn't mean that it is not your reading okay so you have the year of the goat year of the rabbit year of the dragon year of the rat year of the horse 
You have the goat again. So I'm going to put that here. And the rabbit again. You have the year of the dog. The year of the tiger. Year of the horse again. And the year of the snake. Okay. <clears throat> Interesting. A Virgo. Oh. Okay. All right. Let's get into the brown card. Let's see what names or um, other randoms might show up here for you. Just so you have kind of, um, see if we can give you any qualifiers. Okay, what other qualifiers for Virgo and other names? Okay, we got the initial H. Someone's name has an H, first to last name. Okay. And, oh. We're looking, uh, somebody might live in either Beverly Hills or Washington, either. Uh, it feels mostly like um, D.C. I'm picking up. Um, I'm also picking up someone maybe Asian as well. And someone likes A1 sauce or is using A1 sauce. That's weird. Okay, let me see. Okay, all right. Um, all right, somebody is a Gen Xer, and that's probably most of all of you. <laughs> so, <laughs> all right, let's see. It is like a little, it's hard for me to see, it's getting dark. Um, okay, we have the initials S as in Sam, we have V as in Victor. Um, and we have the initial A and the initial R. So let's see. First name, last name. Okay. And we have a U. And I'm also picking up the letter L. So I don't know if that's Liz or Lisa or Lenny, Leonard. Okay. I'm just hearing the word ubiquitous. I have no idea what that means. I'll have to look it up, but if you know, I don't know if somebody's saying that. Um, somebody also lives um, an address they're giving me is 9Q or Q9. I don't know what that is. Maybe it's an address or just a number that's significant for someone. Okay. Um, they just gave me a very old song. It's raining men. I'm not singing that. <laughs> they just said it's raining men. <laughs> what the heck? That is so old. That doesn't even get played. Uh, that might be like in the elevator or the supermarket now. I don't even know. I'm too sexy for myself. Too sexy for myself. Too sexy. Can't help it. Virgos, that's like your theme song. Is that your theme song right now? <laughs> Right, said Fred. Okay, we've got the initial P. Okay, and I'm just going to do one more, see what other. Um, I'm seeing HP. Um, somebody might have a printer, an HP printer, or is using their HP Hewlett Packard printer. All right, and we've got the letter G. So George, Gina, um, and what other other various names, cultures you would say that in? Maybe Georgina? Something along those lines. George, Gina, George, Gina. Okay, let's get some dice and see what numbers come out here for you. All right. So you have uh, Aquarius is here, Capricorn, Taurus, twice. Um Okay, someone was born in 1990, um, September 15th, September 12th, um, August 26th, August 24th. Somebody is on the cusp of August, 
it's August 22nd. There are some signs out there that, uh, like Leo Virgo, some publications say August 22nd is the cusp. Um, and some say it's the 23rd, you know, um, from what I understand, it's the 23rd, but somebody might be born August 22nd and thinks that they're a Virgo. So I'm just feeling August 22nd and I'm also picking up September 22nd. So there's some cusp energy going on here. Um, okay. I, it's interesting. You also have two, two, two. Okay. That's this year. Uh, no, that was last year, 2022. Um, two, two, two. Twos represent balance, duality, partnership, choices, opposition, reflection, and diversity. So you might be seeing two, 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 or if you, or you might be seeing it coming up or seeing that number sequence, um, or you have been seeing that a lot. And um, did I say August 24th? Because now they're giving me that. Oh, they're just basically giving me um, August 22nd through the 29th, really. That's just the strongest message I'm getting there. Um, and other people's birthdays, not yours. I'm picking up um, someone's a Sagittarius. So I'm picking up birthday December 1st or the 2nd. Um, I'm also picking up April 2nd. Oh, that was yesterday. Um, so these are either birth dates or significant days. Um, June 2nd, also um, February 4th. Um, these could be your person also, or just significant days, like I said. Um, May 15th, February 18th. I don't usually do these, but it's just coming up. Um, we also have April 22nd, and somebody is 51, between 51 and 53 years of age, also 51, 52, and 53. Okay, and so let's get a couple of charms, and just remember, like I said, I'm going to segue into a part two tomorrow for you guys a uh, continuation of this story so make sure that you um tune in for that which i know you guys will you're always here which i'm also so very grateful for in case you didn't know what is this just picked up okay so i'm sorry that i'm gonna see if hopefully when i before i upload this i'll be able to brighten it up but what you have here is um a turtle okay you have a turtle so, and I'm also looking on um, the way that you figure out how the age of a turtle, you count, I believe you count um, the slates on its back. Um, well, what I'm getting here is one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so seven is a significant number attached to a turtle. Uh, seven represents spirituality, inner awareness, mastery, wisdom, insight, and success. Um, and I feel like that's what this energy is, um, slow opening up to spirituality and change. Um, it could also just represent someone has a pet turtle, or they, this is actually, it could be a sea turtle, but a sea turtle, um, okay, now they're just, all right, so they're telling me seven years. Something happened um, either seven days ago, seven weeks ago, seven hours ago, or seven years ago that was tremendously significant to them. I don't know. It's one of those for you, okay, that it was either significant for you or to another person. Okay. And they're also telling me July is going to be significant in love coming up this year as well. Okay. And um, the turtle does represent, you know, also slow and steady wins the race. Okay. Or maybe you just have a liking for turtles and it's just your message here. All right, Virgo. So I'm going to leave that there for you. I hope that that reading gave you a little insight or at least was a little fun because you enjoy the um, House of Virgo Netflix series here with all the drama. So yeah, don't forget if you want to get free readings or um, get access to readings with me, mini readings show up on Sundays here and join my channel. And you can pop in on the live stream and just ask your question if you're a member and I'll pull cards for you and give you mini readings unless you want something more in depth and longer, um, 30 minutes, go down into the description box, book a reading with Casey and he'll be able to set you up. And I'm also adding someone else to um, my team, as I mentioned 
before I was going to be doing this. So this um, will be a female. So you guys will be able to kind of like pick and choose who you're more comfortable with, like a gynecologist. <laughs> I'm a 10 year old. Okay. So, um, yeah, stay tuned for part two tomorrow. Thanks to everybody in the chat. Awesome to uh, see you here and be here with you guys. And I will see you all back here tomorrow. Same time, same channel. Have a good one. Bye.